Introduction to Earth Science as Systems Thinking. This is Greg Bennett, instructor for this course. And I want to go through why we think of Earth Science as interaction between components of an Earth system. Make sure your PowerPoint is set up to play automations and use timings and use media control. That way you have some control on whether you can hear the audio portions of these PowerPoints. So Earth Science and the Earth System. Earth Science is the investigation of interactions among the four components of the Earth System. Atmosphere, i.e. air, weather, and such. Hydrosphere, water and ice biosphere, plants, animals, geosphere, land, rocks, and their interaction with the exosphere, sun and space. So why is, an Earth, is Earth a system? Well, we've got three choices here. One of these is the best choice. Uh, choice A, the Earth is several separate components like any system. Choice B, the Earth has multiple interactions like any system. Or choice C, the Earth has interacting components like any system. If we look at the best answer, it will be C because of two things. The word interacting and the word components. A has the idea of components. B has the inter idea of interactions, but C brings both in. And so let's look at some examples of what we mean by that. Here's four components of the Earth system. Atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, and geosphere. And the question I've got for you is how do you interact with each of these components? There's a, a worksheet that I'd like you to complete as part of this exercise and it asks that same <clears throat> How do the components of the Earth system interact in the tsunami below? In um, Indonesia on December 26, 2004 a giant earthquake buckled the seafloor just west of the country and several hours later, waves struck the African coastlines as well as Indian coastlines and devastated coastlines all along Thailand and Malaysia and Indonesia. One little village called Banda Ake in Sumatra was dev devastated by waves up to 30 meters high. And if you think about the height of 30 meters, um, that's higher than the trees that you'd find in your backyard. So on the left we see here before and the right we see after. Um, in the upper right we see a tsunami, that white line in the picture, and it's striking the beach at Phuket Island just a few hours after the earthquake. And that's, that's in Thailand. Well, how do the components of the Earth center system interact with each other in the tsunami example? Well, the geosphere um, generated the tsunami by an earthquake, and then that tsunami or large wave in the hydrosphere eroded beaches and deposited sand inland. Those beaches are used by tourists, so the geosphere interacts with the biosphere. And then you have interaction between the biosphere and hydrosphere where tourists are swimming and sailing in the ocean and waves destroyed coastal environments. Okay, so here's another little exercise. How do the components of the Earth system interact with each other? We've got some choices here. So <clears throat> the way each of these components of the Earth system interacts with other components is just like we use in language. We have a subject, we have an interaction, we have an object. So in A, the asteroid impacts the Earth. 
and B, the spacecraft explores deep space. In other words, exosphere interacts with the Earth, and you see the arrow going from exosphere to the Earth in A, and from the Earth's components to the exosphere in B. Um, in C, the atmosphere interacts with the hydrosphere in that wi waves or wi winds generate waves, and um, the, at the hydrosphere back to the atmosphere in D with water. Um, evaporates from the ocean. In E, uh, fish live in the oceans, so the biosphere interacts with the object. And in, in F, water is ingested by animals, so that um, the hydrosphere interacts with the biosphere. In G, earthquakes cause deaths, so the um, Biosphere is interacting, but the geosphere is interacting with the biosphere. And in H, humans mine coal, so the biosphere interacts with the geosphere. So you, you start to see why it's important to think in terms of subject and, obje and object because something is interacting with something else, and that way you can get the um, position of the arrow. In I, the atmosphere interacts with the geosphere, and that wind blows sand. And the geosphere interacts with the atmosphere in J, and that volcanoes emit toxic gases. In K, continents deflect ocean currents in the geosphere interacting with the hydrosphere. And in L, a stream carves a canyon in the hydrosphere interacting with the geosphere. In M, plants absorb carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere interacting with the biosphere. And in N, um, in N, plants release oxygen in the biosphere interacting with the atmosphere.